Hello all, it's your girl Tiffany, Madam Luscious Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom is within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on tonight. If you would be so kind to so please like, share, and subscribe, it will be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign, so please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Without any further ado, guys, we're going to get into this reading. I do hope everyone is doing well and feeling well on today. With that being said, guys, let's get started. Okay. So I want to see what messages Spirit has for you. So I believe I'm make this reading for Instagram. So if you're watching this on Instagram, please be sure to visit my YouTube channel at Poetic Psychic Pisces High Priestess so you can see um, and view more content of mine. Okay, that's where I post the majority of my content at. Okay, so we have the Emperor. The Two of Pentacles. So the emperor is going to be someone who is a father or a father figure, okay? The two of pentacles talks about juggling. It talks about struggling. It can speak to uh, a very lack of finances, money, and resources. But it also can speak to um, this masculine here juggling um, more than one lover here, okay? We're going to see what else comes out here. So we have the hermit here. Now, hermit is usually closed off. They're to themselves. They're by themselves. They, um, they're kind of secluded they could be an introvert type of a person it doesn't really mean that they're anti-social um this person could just be single lonely by himself you know type of thing okay keeps to himself read a lot research a lot study a lot pray a lot meditate a lot or something like that okay what else is going on here okay I definitely see whoever this um, masculine is, is definitely juggling. I, it seems as if this person may be in between jobs, okay? This person just is um, surviving off the bare minimum, okay? I do see that this person, and this could be this, the reason why this person is secluded or isolated or to themselves or by themselves in hermit mode, um, but I see this person being very tempered, okay? This person is very tempered. I feel like this person is a, a kind-hearted, caring, loving type of individual with a temperance card being here, okay? Because you have the hermit and the temperance card here back to back. So this is like an all-around good person. This is just somebody who's down on their luck, okay? I do have the king of wands here as well, though, okay? So this masculine um, could be a fire sign. So it's just Aries or Leo, okay? Um, This fire sign masculine, he could have lost his job. He could be in between jobs. He could just have a, if he has a job, it's like minimum wage, okay? Um, with him coming out as the emperor first, he is definitely a father, okay? If he's paying child support or anything, this probably takes up the majority of his um, income, especially if it's like... Uh, forcibly deducted out of his check before he even gets anything which leaves him with a bare minimum of anything to live off of which is why he's showing here as having the, the, the only being in the two of pentacles energy here okay but this could also say that with the, the two of pentacles this could be any type of energy spirit say that's the truth that's clarity here with the ace of swords here so obviously the first scenario that i gave you is the truth okay because i was about to say if he doesn't have a job this man could be unemployed um he could be on unemployment which is just very little income or he could um uh, he may have a disability or something and is on some type of fixed income, which is still just very little that he has. With this two of pentacles being here, this is not a lot of money, okay? The five of pentacles talks about having a, you know, having a lack, 
of support and help and finances, okay? But even the Five of Pentacles is more than having the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is next to nothing, okay? But the mere fact that he came out as a father first, I feel like um, the majority of what this man makes is taken from him before he could even cash his check. Okay, so so whatever child support uh, payments or whatever is deducted out of this man's check, okay? And it only leaves him with the two of pentacles to juggle, um, to, to live off of, okay? Spirit, uh, clarify the two of pentacles. What else is going on here? It looks like it, his... <laughs> His money may uh, turn around for him, okay? It's, I see him juggling and struggling right now, okay? But that Two of Pentacles is going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles, okay? Now, the Ten of Pentacles talks about a large windfall of money here, okay? So, this man could, you know, play the numbers, okay? Uh, buy him a scratch-off or something like that and hit the jackpot and win a large lump sum of money here. He's coming into a large lump sum of money here, okay? And this is not, the Ten of Pentacles is not necessarily money earned. It doesn't mean that it's not your money. This is money coming to you in other ways, like, you know, um, going to the casino and winning or playing the number, you know, playing the lottery or something and winning, finding a huge bag of money, somebody giving you a huge amount of money, um, uh, coming into, uh, you know, uh, an inheritance or something. It's money that is yours, but it comes from other sources besides work. Okay? I see the fool here that sits under the hermit here, okay? So this, this masculine has taken a leap of faith, okay? He is blindly taken a leap of faith and done something, okay? Um, that's obviously bringing him in more money. Some type of victory that this man is coming into is going to lead him to a large lump sum of money, at which time he's going to take a leap of faith and he's going to either get him a new vehicle, something to do with transportation, or even traveling somewhere here, okay? Because next to the fool, I see the chariot here, okay? So if this man does not have a, it has transportation right now, he could be getting him a car with this money, but he could be traveling somewhere. Let's very clarify this. Um, By this king of wands so we have the ace of cups here okay so the the ace of cups talks about emotional fulfillment okay um someone that did having some type of extreme feelings overwhelming emotions okay this could be emotions of any kind this could be happiness okay it doesn't matter what a person's emotions is it depends on what else is going on around the situation okay but in this situation if this man is coming into a large lump sum of money coming from a place of having a, a lack having little to nothing to come into a large lump sum of money you know, this would be a victory for anybody. This would be emotional fulfillment for anyone, okay? The second row started with the Ace of Swords and ended with the Ace of Cups here, okay? So whatever victory that this person is coming into, it's some type of emotional fulfillment for him, okay? Like, you know, this could make a man shed a tear, okay? Uh, type of emotions here, okay? But I definitely see a windfall, a large lump sum of money, and this masculine taking some type of leap of faith here, okay? And some type of movement, travel, trips, journeys, or new transportation here, okay? I want to see what else is going on here because... I have both the Tower and the Ten of Swords that try to pop out the deck, okay? So hopefully this, this masculine hasn't committed a crime and betrayed someone, okay? And, and caused, a, a, you know, some type of chaos 
of some kind in order for him to get this large lump sum of money here. We're going to hope not, okay? But I'm going to pull a few extra cards for you all just to see um, what else is going on here. What else may be happening here? This man has, that was the seven of sword, or excuse me, the seven of wands that just fell, okay? The seven of wands talks about endurance, okay? Um, this masculine has endured a lot. This is his energy being he came out as the king of wands here. This man has endured a lot. He's gone through a whole lot, okay? Um, the seven of wands talks about someone who has a lot of responsibilities, someone who has dealt with burdens and hardships and setbacks and problematic situations and, um, you know, stress and all kinds of things. They have endured a lot, okay? Um, so let's see what else is going on here. Spirit clarified the emperor and the ace of swords here. I see adjudication here. This man been going to court about something. This could be over child support. Payments, okay? Let me find out this man paying for a child that ain't even his, girl. He's getting some type of victory in a court of law because of some type of truth or clarity is coming out. Spirit clarify the two of pentacles with the ten of pentacles. Two of pentacles, ten of pentacles. So this definitely has to do with a legal situation here. We have adjudication and courthouse here, okay? So some, and this man is going to court, okay, with his paperwork in hand, honey, on this situation here. He's been putting in a lot of toll and labor. He's been putting in some hard work, okay, doing what he's supposed to do as a man here. This person has been going back to back and forth to court. If you look at adjudication, it's a man and a woman that's standing before the judge here, okay? So this could be a baby mother of his, okay? Um, especially with him coming out as the emperor first, okay? So I definitely feel like this may have to do with child support payments or children may be involved or something, but there's definitely been some legal situations going on, okay? Somebody could have been hustling this man for money, like, damn near every dime that he's got, like, you understand what I'm saying? So we have main male here that sits here on temperance in the chariot here, okay? This is an all-around good guy. Usually the temperance talks about one who could, who could be angelic or angelic being, someone with faith, someone with hope, someone who's caring, loving, generous, uh, someone who is one with the divine, um, someone um, who's tempered, okay? But I see this, this, this main male moving forward, you know, a surge forward, okay, in their situation, um, his situation that he's dealing with here, okay? Yeah. I feel like this emotional fulfillment is because of some type of change that is coming through for him, that is happening for him, okay? I feel like whatever these court proceedings that this um, fire sign masculine is dealing with, he's going to be victorious. You're going to have um, some type of success or victory as it relates to this situation here, okay? We have thoughts at the bottom of the deck, so this is definitely something that has been weighing heavy on your mind for quite some time, okay? Spirit, clarify adjudication. Why is adjudication here? Why is adjudication here? Emperor and Ace of Swords. Why is adjudication here? Emperor and the Ace of Swords. This was definitely a situation about a child here. Okay? So somebody could have been taking this masculine to court for child support or or something here, okay? And this masculine may have had to prove this child isn't kid or, you know, something, okay? And it, you know, also proved as to how much they've been taking from this man. Spirit, clarify the two of pentacles, the ten of pentacles in courthouse. Two of pentacles, ten of pentacles in courthouse. Yeah. Wow. This man has a mile. <laughs> this man has been paying a fortune for a child that probably wasn't even his all along. This has had this person in despair. 
Okay, this could have been a, a, a baby mama, ex-wife or something. This may have something more to do with the children. Like if this is an ex-wife, this could have been, you know, child support, alimony, and, you know, a multitude of different things. So we're going to find courthouse here. Why is the courthouse here? What is the courthouse situation about, Spirit? What is this courthouse situation about? Somebody come in trying to take his house from him. I keep seeing house, wife. I seen waiting. This person could have been waiting. Somebody tried to steal something from him or stole something from him. Uh, that may have to do with his children, with property, with something. Okay, these court proceedings is definitely about money and this child here. Okay, Spirit clarify um, Hermit, the Fool, and Toll and Labor. Everybody's this toll and labor. This man has been working hard. Yeah. And he's just been waiting. He's been sitting in a cut in expectation, waiting for something to happen while he continued to work hard here, okay? This man was in despair for quite some time as well over the situation while things, you know, dragged out in court. So we clarify temperance, the chariot, main male. Okay, he's receiving, he's received, we have messenger here, okay? So this, this man could be receiving some type of messages, news, information, or communication pertaining to the situation or situation that he's dealing with. Okay, he could have gotten word back about these court proceedings. It's very clear for the King of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and Change. Yeah. Okay. I see gift here. So it looks like some looks like he was rewarded something. Yeah. He is rewarded something, okay, that has to do with fortunes here. And this is the reason why I put this change here for him, which is why you have, you know, all this extreme feelings and overwhelming emotions here with the Ace of Cups here, emotional fulfillment for this masculine here, okay? Yeah, we have epiphanies and breakthrough here, okay? So there's definitely been some type of breakthrough. In this masculine's life, as it relates to this legal situation and this child, very clarify um, adjudication and child, adjudication and child. Yeah, I see truth here. Some type of truth or clarity came out. This man may have been found not to be the father of this child. Spirit, clarify uh, courthouse and money. Courthouse and money. So we have here karma, balance, justice. You see the balancing scales there. So there was definitely a legal situation over money. Um, this child, the truth came out in these court proceedings, okay? This man continued to work hard, but in the past, he was dealing with lack and suffering. That's why he was in the Two of Pentacles energy, okay? But something is going to be rewarded to him. Like, he's going to be recompensated for something. It's very clear by temperance, a chariot, main male, and messenger. This definitely is a family situation. It has to do with family. So we clarify uh, main mail in the messenger, please. So we have freedom. This person is like leaping for joy with this information that he has. This is Uranus energy, which talks about freedom, leaping for joy, opportunities. Okay. So we clarify um, change and fortune. 
okay? So I see here, um, this is Mercury Energy. So this talks about messages, travel, communication here, okay? So um, this man is ready to move on with his life, like literally. This, this, this person may move, relocate or something. He's getting these messages in, okay? He is free from this situation. He's getting his freedom back from the situation. New opportunities are coming in. Um, uh, he could be traveling, deciding to travel somewhere, but there's definitely messages coming in, communication coming in, opportunities coming in, a freedom from this situation, okay? And yeah, in the present, at the bottom of the deck, we have abundant gratitude here. So he is thankful and appreciative to uh, not have to deal with this situation any longer. Spirit, clarify this truth. I seen waiting game. Looked like they had to wait around for quite a while while things were decided or figured out. Yeah the waiting game here okay but finally the truth and clarity came out in the court of law before a judge okay so you clarify karma balance justice yeah look at that truth the truth came out pertaining to this situation so spirit clarify um in the past he was dealing with lack and suffering Past, he was dealing with lack and suffering. Yeah, he was dealing with some obstacles and challenges. Okay, but he's coming out of that. He was he's coming out of that. As in the past, he was having financial and material challenges because he was in a lack. He was in, in you know poverty. It seems like he just had a lack of finances, money, and resources. Okay, spirit, clarify freedom, leap, opportunities. Freedom, leap, opportunity. So we have triumphant success here, okay? So because of this truth, this see, this sword here is like the truth, okay? It's cutting to the truth of a matter. Because of some type of truth or clarity coming out, he's having some type of triumphant success. So we're clarify um, messages, travel, and communications. Messages, travel, and communications. So I see material and spiritual prosperity as well as a firm foundation. So this man is well on his way to having a, um, a firm foundation. This person could be, you know, is going to step into a period of being financially stable and secure after dealing, you know, getting out of the situation. Yeah. So I see victory and success here. So you have triumph and success, and then we have victory and success here as well. And I see him stepping into a period of balance. He will have balance in his life now. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what's going on here, guys. I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with. For those of you who would like to contact me, you can do so at tip.diamond.36 at gmail.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. You can also um, follow me on YouTube, which is um, Poetic Psychic Pisces High Priestess. Okay, make sure you go and like, share, subscribe. Yeah, this person was dealing with a karmic relationship. Somebody stabbed him in the back. He was with a karmic who stabbed him in the back, okay? Someone that he was either engaged to or married to, okay? Or either just someone he had a serious committed relationship with. But there was a, a child that was involved. Okay. Yeah. Somebody in the relationship was a snake, though. 
okay? He was in a karmic relationship with someone who stabbed him in the back. This person was a snake spirit is saying. Yeah. Somebody could have somebody could have been um codependent as well. There was definitely a separation that took place between them, which is why all of these things um, have been going on uh, legally between them, especially if they were married, um, especially with a child being involved, okay? Because there was definitely an ending that was put to this relationship because this person was a snake and they stabbed this person in the back, okay? So this person, he endured some type of heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attacks by this snake, this karmic that he was in a relationship with, okay? There was a lot of competition. This person, he was sleeping with the enemy, to be quite honest with you, okay? Someone who was clever and malicious, okay, um, as well. And then ultimately, there was a separation um, between them, okay? So it brought about sadness and all of that. We also have the sword and the rose here, okay? So in the end, the truth and clarity came out um, as it relates to this situation, guys, okay? Truth and clarity came out as it relates to this situation. And he was free from this bond, from this tie that he had with this other person here, okay? And so that's what's going on with this situation, guys, okay? So as always, guys, y'all take care of yourselves, take care of each other, but most of all, take care of your babies, honey. Remember that this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places, and there is evil that is lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch the surroundings and the company in which your children are in as well. And consider the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey. Keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared. Because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Um, also, guys, for any person who would like to support any one of my channels, you can do so through Cash App which is dollar sign tip diamond three six or through paypal which is paypal.me slash at three six diamond however you can always show free support by um following me liking sharing subscribing okay giving a thumbs up or however you would like to show your support it is greatly appreciated okay guys to the next time peace love and light namaste I am that I am created in the image of God.